Hey, what's going on everyone? Alex here with Freedom Mowers. Hope you guys are having a good one. Today we are going to be talking about the engine swap on this Craftsman DYT 4000. For some reason I was thinking it was a 3. Uh, if you guys remember, <clears throat> I did a whole series on uh, this lawn tractor and reviving it from basically abandoned in the woods for years and uh, finally got it up and going and felt like it was running pretty good. Um, thought maybe there were some carb issues and got that solved and uh, come to find out it just had a bad camshaft. It was so worn um, that it wasn't allowing the uh, exhaust valve to open and close when it needed to and it was getting excessive blow by and uh, I think it was just time to uh, put that one up until we could either repair that engine or find another which we found a donor so if you guys remember this was the engine that was on here originally the uh, Craftsman Intec 18 and a half um, we had put a new fuel pump on it new starter um, I believe a new carburetor I can't remember um, you know done quite a bit of work to this we've got a new drive belt new mower uh, deck belt re I think we took this deck off from another machine this was a parts one at one point um, we got that serviced up had to remove the tank on this get all that cleaned up uh, the new 90 degree fitting for the fuel tank it just it was a, a long list um, realistically was this mower probably worth saving uh, it probably would have been better off as a parts machine, but uh, it did make some fairly good video, and hopefully you guys enjoyed that. So, um, I already have this swapped. I didn't film the other day. I was uh, We've been having rain on and off, and I was really trying to get this done. Um, but we're going to go over everything on what was compatible and what needed to change in order to get this uh, Kohler Courage to fit on this machine. So <clears throat> right off the bat, uh, electric PTO. So I needed to have an engine that was compatible with an electronic PTO. This was the PTO that was on uh, the Intec and the PTO that was on the Kohler Courage was a little bit different. So let me show you guys right off the bat what we had to get done this hood does not hold very well and I don't want it to break so let me take the hood off and we'll we'll talk about it a little bit more all right guys well <clears throat> this was a pretty cut and dry swap uh, for the most part besides the uh, the PTO differences on the motor but um, it was just having the fuel line disconnected and the throttle linkage on this side uh, the throttle cable was still the right length and worked out just needed to be adjusted uh, to get it right Over on to this side It was just uh, disconnecting the hot lead that goes to the starter and the wiring harness uh, These two wiring harnesses were the same uh, because they both came off from uh, Basically identical tractors just different engines. So they just wired these up um, basically the same um, bolt holes lined up and everything for the engine to mount and I think that was pretty much it uh, just four bolts on the bottom lined right up and uh, just the big difference was the PTO had this style of mounting bracket to go into the uh, the locking arm on here so the PTO was different on the Kohler and it has this style uh, plate and locking arm. What I had to do was take uh, this bolt and this tab off from the other uh, lawn tractor and swap it over. It basically routes through the frame and then I think just comes up and it locks into a tab on, uh, on this PTO. Uh, I was fortunate enough where I didn't have either PTO or pulleys that were you know locked up on the crankshaft so it went fairly smooth um, see really that was about it I mean we had a good runner while it was on the other tractor uh, it still needs an oil change and I still have an idler on the 
uh, drive pulleys for this that go to the hydrostatic. One of them's still a bit noisy. And uh, off camera, I tested that other mower and the drive system worked. It was just a little bit slow. Uh, so I'm probably gonna keep the hydrostatic trans from the other mower and I will take the pulley and put it onto this one. That way we can uh, get the drive system a little bit quieter on here and get everything running smooth. So other than that, um, there was a little flange inside the muffler here that um, had come loose and I could not get it out of here. So it has a little muffler rattle to it. But other than that, I mean, everything was pretty, pretty cut and dry. Uh, I will quit flapping my lips here and uh, we'll get the jumper pack hooked up and I'll let you guys hear. Uh, we'll get this cranked up and kick on the mower deck and I mean you guys have seen it drive before but we'll get it up and running and you guys can hear it and uh, I'm excited. Glad to finally have this machine up and going again. Uh, it's been sitting for a while but I still can't believe the transformation this thing had. But let me get you guys set up and we'll uh, get this thing running. All right, one other thing I have yet to do is to get all of the battery terminals cleaned up. Uh, it was a little bit hard to turn over the other day, and it was actually really easy to turn over when it was on the other machine, so I'm pretty sure it's just the uh, the grounding strap on this. But hopefully this will crank right over for us. Fix this ground. you guys heard that little bit of screech in there after kicking off the PTO it still has some surface rust where the uh, um, the PTO hasn't been used in a while so it's still knocking off some of that dust on there pretty much um, but yeah I got it uh, adjusted the throttle cable the other day and got it to idle back and everything and I mean it's a smooth runner um, deck kicks on the motors nice and strong 20 horsepower single and yeah pretty cut and dry swap i just really got lucky with finding that other uh dyt 4000 that was pretty much just a parts machine with a good engine so uh overall i'm really really happy about this let me know what you guys think um you know when it comes down to doing these engine swaps you just have to find what's going to be compatible i mean if it if this was a manual pto with a lever i mean i could have put Pretty much any engine in it that has a charging system uh, but when you start dealing with the electronic PTOs you got to make sure that you've got you know the right alternator set up up top um, to run that kind of voltage for it and uh, so it turned out really good I'm excited um, other than that um, probably off-camera I'm just gonna tidy up 
uh, that pulley that I was telling you guys about. Make sure the battery cables are good on here. Uh, the oil change and then just getting that seat um, put back onto the, uh, the frame here. And I think this will be pretty much ready to sell with a new battery in it. So I'm hoping to get a fair price for this mower. Um, cosmetically, it's looking pretty good right now. The biggest, I guess, issue or eyesore is the, uh, the cracked grill here. I had to go in and uh, fix the frame underneath uh, the support. I am going to try to put some epoxy or some adhesive on here and try to get the crack uh, to seal back up. Um, but other than that, I mean, this should be a good machine for somebody. Obviously, it's not a, it's not perfect, but uh, for an older unit with a good strong mower, motor and good deck and everything on it and hydrostatic drive, this should be a good machine for somebody to use and cut for a few years with, and uh, get some more life out of it. So. I hope I explained everything good enough for you all, and hopefully I didn't just talk your ear off. Hopefully you uh, guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I didn't film the other day, um, but it has been raining here, and I was a little bit frustrated, and I wanted to get that swap done. And uh, so there probably would have been more um, tool throwing and uh, not a whole lot getting done if, uh, if I had the camera on. So hopefully this explains it, and I really appreciate you guys checking out the channel. I've got a ton more comment content coming up and I really appreciate your guys' comments. I know quite a few of you were asking about this engine swap. So we are done with it and I think this tractor is pretty much ready to go other than a few little details, but uh, I'll get those tidied up and we can get this thing out of here. So thank you guys always for all the support. I really appreciate it and I hope you all have a good one. On that note, let freedom ring, let those small engines sing. I'll see you all next time.